the tufting finale. Okay, well, not actually because I'm only going to show you the piece that I cut and trimmed the best in this video, and then I'm going to make another edit with all of the fails. So here is the cloth off of the frame, and the high piece is the one that went the best. First step was to cut out all of the pieces from the cloth. You'll see my best Kendall Jenner cutting impression right here. Like, why, why did I cut it like that? Okay, so here I'm cutting little slits around the edge of the letter to be able to pull smaller pieces around the back. I figured that might make it a little easier and it actually worked out pretty well. Next step was to wrap the extra cloth around the edge and glue it to the back. I used hot glue to secure the edges around the back. Um, I assume I should probably use a better like carpet glue, but this is my first radio, so like baby steps, you know. Okay, now we have a little cleanup time. Um, if you have a little vacuum like this, keep it by you while you're doing this. That's all I'm gonna say. Now I'm using the clippers to give the H just a little bit of a haircut, make sure everything's kind of the same length across the whole surface. Then I don't know if this is the right technique, but I just took my like regular scissors and kind of trimmed up the edges just to make sure all of those little side pieces weren't sticking out and it really created a nice straight line. Look, now we have a nice clean and trimmed high. Okay, so last step is to do a felt backing to both of the letter pieces. This just covers up any of those folded over edges and just gives it a nice little bit cleaner of a look. I had some extra felt from some other projects that I worked on, so I just used, you know, a random color that I had a lot of. Um, it doesn't need to be anything pretty. It's going to be the back of the rug. Once you have the felt pieces cut out, you just have to glue it to the back of your rug pieces. I also used hot glue to glue the felt to the back. And that's it. And then when you're done, you can hang it to your wall like I did here. Um, but it came out pretty good. What do you think?